welcome back to the channel so I know I've been gone for a hot minute now it's been I think like about two three weeks but it, you guys know that my schedule I mentioned in on a previous video that my schedule kind of started to change because I have my other kid with me at home and it was it's been crazy I haven't had the time to actually sit and record for you guys but I have a pretty huge lineup of videos for you guys i was able to take that time and sit down and actually like okay so i'm gonna do this video i'm gonna do this video i'm gonna do this video and i kind of have a sort of a nice lineup for you guys pretty soon so get excited because i'm coming with more videos and something that i did not want to mention in this video because i want i one of the videos that i'm coming out for you guys is extremely um specifically made for that is that i hit 5,000 on my YouTube channel so I have to say huge thank you and a huge kisses and hugs and love you guys because without you guys I would not have made it to 5,000 and means that you guys like the content you guys like my goofiness and you guys like what I have to bring to YouTube and I'm really really excited you guys I wish I can hug you kiss you pinch you guys everything because it's really excited it's 5,000 it's like a milestone on my channel so I do gotta say thank you from the bottom of my heart I feel humbled to know that you guys are like me and like what I do so honestly no way I'm bragging I gotta say I'm excited with my 5,000 subscribers like I'm like yep mm -hmm, yep that's right because hard work really does pay off so this video is going to be an awesome video because I love hauls I don't know about you guys but I love going into YouTube and finding haul videos because I'm like what did she get? Oh, I want to get. Oh, I want to try. So I really, really wanted to share with you guys a whole video. I haven't done a whole video in like ever, like ever, ever, ever. And I just sort of like went to Target like three days, like three times. I'm sorry. Not like like a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, like really random, weird chick. She has nothing else to do. <laughs> no, I do have a lot to do. But I just went to Target and I actually picked up a few things that I really wanted to share with you guys so they gave me a little bag I don't know why I really wanted like the big bag I'm like lady put all that in a big bag some of them are hair products some of them are makeup some of them are nail polishes some of them are planner goodies that I picked up from the dollar from the dollar from the dollar spot because you know I love the dollar spot it's a dollar and you get like this pretty pens and this pretty notebooks and and you just go crazy so let's get started all i'm going to do is i'm going to grab into the bag and i'm just going to show you what i got and what i think of it because i think like two things or three things of this bag is i've actually tried it so i'm not gonna be like <laughs> i didn't try it so first thing is i went straight for this and i'm so glad i found it this is the Neutrogena, the anti-residue shampoo. I used it once. My I went over to my friend's house and she had it in her shower. And I was just like, I'm going to try it. So I did. And it actually loved it. I fell in love with it. And I went and I searched and I didn't find it. And I was just like, why is it hard for me to find this? And I was able to find it. And it's the instantly removes over 90% of dueling residue. So this pretty much, if you shower, if you wash your hair often like every two or three days you would only use this once a week this is only once a week and this is just pretty much going to take all that gunk and that nastiness that um shampoos tend to leave behind and they just kind of lather up and don't really really wash very well in there so this shampoo what it does is helps you just remove all that gunk and all that oil in your uh roots and it actually works ladies like no lie a little bit goes a long way you are not going to get like a lot of um lather up like a lot of foam because it's not a shampoo like that it's just pretty much an oily consistency that is just pretty much penetrates into the very deep parts of your roots and just kind of takes off all that excess oil and all that buildup that shampoo gives you and hairspray mousse all these um things we use on our hair so this is really really good um it's not pretty much for like oh um damaged hair or oily hair it has nothing to do with that it's extremely just for that just to clean your hair it says it instantly removes heavy dueling residue caused by shampoos conditioner and styling products cleans hair thoroughly easily rinses clean mild formula won't cause irritation and is for all hair types so you can either wash your hair with your regular shampoo then use this shampoo and then condition or you can do this and then the shampoo and the condition whichever it is but it doesn't mean that you're going to um 
uh, substitute your shampoo for this. You can just that one time though, like that one time in the week that if you just don't want to use your regular shampoo, you just basically just want to clean out your hair, then you can definitely use this. But ladies, I have, I used it already and I gotta say, I recommend it. It is very cheap. It runs for less than five bucks to be honest. So it's really, really good. It's an awesome product. So now that we're on hair, you guys all know that I have a love and hate relationship with dry shampoo and I love dry shampoo. I cannot get enough of dry shampoo. The reason why I wash my hair every once in once a week just because of the way my hair is. So I live on dry shampoo and, and I just have to find the perfect one. So I love Herbalessence. Herbalessence smells really good when it comes down to shampoo. So I tried their um, Herbalessence dry shampoo color me happy and it says color instant clean and color protection. And it says it feels like the first day you clean your hair, wash your hair. So I do have to tell you, I did use it because I really wanted to try it. And it smells amazing. It really, really does. But to be honest, it kind of left my hair feeling a little bit more greasier than was before I applied it. I don't know if you might understand what I'm trying to say. But I actually was a little disappointed because it really smells really, really good. And it did not leave me a white powdery residue, but I felt very heavy on my scalp. I was like, uh, I really didn't like it. So I don't think I will be trying it anymore. It was actually on clearance for $3.38, so I didn't spend the full five bucks for this. So, but I really was a little, I was just really disappointed because I really like Herbal Essence. The smell, I think it's been one of the best smelling dry shampoos that I've ever in my life tried. Because Hair Relicent has so many fruity, uh, scent, uh, flowery scents and it's really, really good. But this, I wasn't really excited. The other thing I tried is we're in Florida, it's summer, you you shower before you go out of your house and it's probably 3 o'clock in the afternoon and you're still, you kind of like, you smell weird even though you apply perfume and, 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 and the other end and I'm about to sneeze. Ah, ah, ah. Allergies have been like crazy. Like Poland is just like, oh, Jesus. Okay, so this is the secret. Uh, refresh helps eliminate odor and then it, uh, for some reason, I don't know why it says, it says mean stinks. I don't know, what is that supposed to be? It says fearlessly, fre fearlessly fresh, stands up against what stinks, odor and bullying. I mean, they try to make it cute, I guess. Um, it says some sort of, I mean, the thing is pretty, the, the bottle is pretty cute. It says uh, body spray. It's pretty much a body spray. It smells really, really, really good. It definitely refreshes you during the day, so I carry it with me in my purse. And whenever I'm feeling like hot and I'm feeling sweaty and I'm like, oh my god, just spray it. I pull my shirt up and spray it. People are just looking at me like, she is weird. But I just don't like to smell sweaty who does especially when you're on the road so this is really good you can keep it in your purse and it definitely helps to refresh you during the day so i like that that smells really good then the other thing i grabbed were my i always have to have them these are my always feminine wipes and i always have to have these ladies like honestly come on it's a it's a girl channel it's it's we're girls so we we all go through the same thing i mean why not so I love these ones. I've tried so many. I think I, I tried the care, Carefree, Careless, Carefree something wipes. And I tell you, nothing compares to the Always because it leaves you very fresh. And you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm not cutting that. I am actually putting that on YouTube. <laughs> so the other thing I grabbed were Milani stuff. I grabbed another one of their matte, stain, uh, matte their moisturizing matte lipstick collection. And the color that I grabbed was uh, matte naked i've heard so many things about matte naked and i really really wanted to pick it up and i was really excited that they have it such a beautiful brownie mauvey color i can't wait to try it i will swatch it out for you guys so you guys can actually see how it looks and this is the matte naked by milani and then i picked up two of their um new color statements nail polishes nail polishes cha 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 i'm trying to speak very proper english so you guys don't be like oh you have a funny accent so this one's I really I've never tried um, Milani nail polishes. I've heard they are the bomb.com. So I said I'm gonna try them. They were very cheap too. So the color I have on one side of my hand because as you can see I don't even have time to finish both my hands when I'm painting my nails. So one of them, the one I have on this hand is the where is the name of the color? Where did you have it? Do you even have color name color? 
<gasps> yes, you do. You are corrupted coral. It's like a beautiful corally color and it's perfect for summer and spring. And then of course I have to have my everyday go-to nude color. And this is in color pink beige. And I love the packaging. You guys know Milani has beautiful packaging. So I'm really excited for these products from e.l.f. Pretty, I wanted to share them because they're pretty new. So, okay, get out. So I really wanted to share with you guys these products. I've never tried any e.l.f. products be like foundation or concealer. I've always stuck to the contour palette and uh, um, I think that's it. <laughs> I don't think I've tried any other, any other, oh, their blushes. Their blushes are good, so I, I did try. So the first thing I saw that I really wanted to try, because if I do like a drugstore um, tutorial, I really want to use everything that's very affordable. And lately, the foundations from like L'Oreal or, or Maybelline, you guys all know, they're running from like $12, $14. You're like, what the heck, for like $10, for $20 more, you can get a freaking expensive high-end foundation it's like what are you doing so i was really excited to see that they have a new um elf i'm sorry flawless finish foundation and it supposedly is uh apply on face area to even skin tone for a beautiful semi matte finish that lasts all day so that was kind of like kind of sold me the fact that it says that lasts all day i was like i have to try it so the color that i picked up in the color sand just because I'm so tanning at the moment I don't want to be mixing two foundations I want to make sure that I got the right color I haven't tried it as you guys can see I really just wanted to do like I really wanted to show you guys on camera and I just think the packaging is so pretty come on ladies help me out I know there is a high-end foundation that looks like this I can't, my, I've gone completely blank right now, but I know there's a higher foundation that looks just like this. It's actually glass. I cannot believe it's actually glass. And it was $6. And to be honest, it's like e.l.f. is coming out with so many, so cute packaging that you just, you wouldn't, if it's actually facing backwards, you wouldn't think it's an e.l.f. Uh, foundation. So I think the packaging is pretty cool. Let's go ahead and open her up. Oh my God, it's a pump. It's a pump. Not even my L'Oreal and my Maybelline come with pumps. They always are like a squeezy tube or like just the bottle that you have to twist it. And the e.l.f. just went there, ladies. e.l.f. just did a glass bottle with a pump. If you guys seen it before, don't judge me. It's my first time seeing an e.l.f. foundation. I think it's amazing. I have to say, packaging, I'm giving it a 5 out of 5. Okay? So the other thing is the... I went on my friend's YouTube page and um, so on her video and she did recently a February favorite and she mentioned this lip exfoliator and I said that looks really cool. So it's, an, it's self explanatory. It's a lip exfoliator. Let's see what it looks like. She says it's really, really good. It helps you exfoliate your lips and it doesn't do like really hard like the micro beads in it. It's not like just kind of out uh, like see and the packagings are like so cute. Like I cannot believe elf is doing this cute things oh that looks really weird but it is that it's a lip exfoliator it smells really really good it smells really good i will just get a little closer to it so you guys can actually see it it actually has like the micro beads and whatever and you can it says a gently exfoliates lips to remove dry shaft skin with a sugary sweet and smoothing sensation that's what it smells like it smells like brown sugar Literally like brown sugar and vanilla. Infused with vitamin E, shea butter, shea butter. Butter, 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 butter. I can never say butter. Butter. Shea butter, avocado, grape, and jojoba oil to nourish and protect. Treats and smoothest lips for condition and revitalize a feel. Very nice. I think I like everything I read so far. I understood it too. So I'm really excited to try this. And of course, you will have to do it before you apply your lipstick. I do. So the other thing is really caught my attention is the HD Lifting Concealer, and it's just the fact that I said HD was like really, so I get like high definition under eyes or something. This high definition skin filming concealer hides imperfections and regenerates the skin for an added radiance. 
minimizes the lines and helps even skin tone for a youthful look. Infused with the vitamin C, green tea, and mulberry for lifting and soothing benefits to help improve skin texture. Very nice. I'm really excited that e.l.f. is coming out with these products that not only are like cheap, but also like have good products inside, like vitamin E and stuff like that. It's like really like you wouldn't expect a cheap brand. Because come on, let's be honest. Everyone's scared of e.l.f. because they're like $3 or whatever. Now, I don't like the fact that the box kind of throws you off with the size. I really did not expect the concealer to be this small. I tell you that. I thought it was going to be a little bit larger than that. So I was just like, what are you doing? What are you doing? So it says it's an HD uh, lifting concealer. And I picked the color light because I like to just lighten that baby up. So, oh my god. Like, look at the packaging. Like, that is even bigger than the actual bottle. Like, And, of course, they have the little um, spongy thing. So... Try and see the cup. Ooh, I like the consistency of this. It's very thick, I gotta tell you. It's a very thick consistency. I'm gonna try this baby up pretty soon and see how that works. If you guys want a review on any of these products by e.l.f., just go ahead and leave it down below. Or just give this video a thumbs up and I will know that that's what you want. Actually, no, don't give it a thumbs up for the review. Give it a thumbs up if you want more hauls. Just let me know if you want a review on the bottom. Okay, then the other thing from e.l.f., I found it very, like, it could probably help me just because I sometimes don't finish my nail polish, as you can see, is their um, e.l.f. nail polish removing pads. And pretty much, there is just a little container. And it has, like, removing nail polish pads inside. Yep, just like that. And I guess it's better to carry this and to actually carry the whole nail polish your remover bottle and some cotton ball cotton swabs or cotton balls it's just like really so it's just pretty much no polish removing pads and they were a dollar so i mean you can't go wrong with a dollar all right so the other thing that was the last thing i picked from out but the other thing i picked out that i really wanted to try because i heard so many things about this concealer supposedly it's a dupe for the nars um creamy concealer and i really wanted to pick it up and it was the maybelline fit me concealer i've heard so many amazing things about this um, concealer and i really wanted to give it a try so i picked it up and it was on sale so that's why i picked it up because it usually runs for like nine dollars and it was actually 3.99 and i said Hello, you're in my purse. Not in my purse. You gotta pay for it, Francis. You're in my shopping cart. So the color I picked up was uh, 15. 15. I really don't know the name, but it says, oh, here it is. 15. Fair. I picked up flare. A flare. Fair. Really. So then the other things I wanted to share with you guys, if you guys are planet addicts like me, I picked up these things. Some of the two of these things I picked up from uh, Hobby Lobby, but then the other things are from Target. I'm just gonna show you what I picked up from Hobby Lobby. And what I picked up were these pretty stickers, and these are very girly. They have the Eiffel Tower, they have like the girl shopping, and then you have the boots, and then you have glasses. I think it's very, very girly. It's very pretty if you're trying to do like a girly um my um, girly month setup but the other ones i really wanted to share and i haven't touched them is the emoji stickers i mean how cute are these stickers all 288 emoji stickers are here and i really don't want to touch them because they're just so cute and i got it for like 2.99 at hobby lobby and i thought it was adorable i just thought they would actually bring more of each because if i want to use the heart i just use the heart once and i can't use it again so then the other thing I got are in this bag is just pretty much some planner goodies I got at the dollar section from Target. I got this bag because I really wanted to have a bag for my planner goodies inside my purse instead of just throwing it in there. And I got this one. It's pretty cool. It's like a corally with some uh, silver polka dots. And I got this was for like three bucks, so it wasn't that bad. And I got these paper clips. I just thought it was pretty cool how they have them in like a little container. And then it's just paper, just pretty much paper clips. And you just put them in a little container. I just thought it was very cute. I was like, I'm gonna get it. I just put it in my desk. So the other thing I got were, um, and I don't know why they're out of the thing. These two um, cloth hang clips or whatever they're called. They're the wooden cloth hangers. And I got these two. They come in a packet for a dollar. And I just thought it was really cute. You can put this in your... Um, binder and i love the fact that they were pink then i got the little ones which are the they're called clothespins 
the little ones which are the Kung 4 and they're just a little bit smaller than that one and they're really cute, they were a dollar and then of course their watermark page flags I was only able to get this ones. I couldn't find any other, but they were really, they were really, really cute. I don't really like the fact that they don't stick to my planner, so I was just like a little sad. And then I got the pens, and oh, here's the other one. I got these supposedly gel pastel pens, and just the colors are so pretty. You have a green, a green mint, and then you have like the cyan color, and then you have that baby pink. I just thought they were really, really cute, and they went with the whole. Uh, scenario idea of what I'm doing with my March um, calendar and then th oh and then I got these ones too which are the two dollars for the two pets for a dollar and these are also their watermarks if you can see some of them already have like they, they have like that watermark collection I would say and then I got a to-do list because I need a to-do list. I really need to remind myself of things I gotta do. I really need to remind myself that I have two kids and that I have to feed them and that I have to change the diapers and that I'm just kidding. I don't really need to remind it of that. But it's really cool because it keeps you organized and it's, it has a little um, magnet so you can just put it in your in your fridge. And then I just got a little sticky note. I just thought it was really, really cute. What I did is I grabbed all that and then just put it inside the bag and it was just like, ah, it's a pretty, baggy with a whole bunch of goodies for me and I opened it and I got home and I was really excited. So I think that's it. So this is all my Target haul. Um, these are things that I'm really excited to try. Let me know on the comments below if you guys want to see in a specific review or in a specific demo of any of the products that I got. If you have any other questions, let me know if you tried any of the products and if they worked for you or if they have been a hit or if they have been a miss. Just go ahead and let me know. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys if you want to see more hauls. Thank you so much again for your support, your love. I wish I can hug you and squish you guys. I send you lots of hugs, lots of kisses for you guys. Because you guys rock. You guys are amazing. You guys make my day. Thank you so much for sticking till the end. Be blessed, precious pearls. I will see you in my next video. Bye.